2023 Super Aeronautique S23. Sitting in haze gray hall and accent. So that color runs nicely from the hall up into the bow in that rear stripe there. And we've got crimson metal flake as our main stripe. To accent that, we have white chromax and a haze gray tower. Option on this are the docking lights up front. Also have 30% window tint on the windshield. Nautique Bimini, standard board racks, pair of uh, 880 JL tower speakers up top, coming around the transom. You can see the awesome seats we have on the transom of the S23. And a little bit of crimson to accent uh, the metal flake on the outside. A really sharp looking boat, just a clean, classy color scheme. Looks really pretty. So let's jump inside, check out the features on this S23. All right, here we are on the interior of the 2023 S23. We just got done filming our review video, so you probably see some uh, uh, water on the sea deck. So we are surfing out here in the freezing cold today. I think it's like 44 degrees out right now, so good times. Um, but let's talk about this interior. Obviously we have the rear seats on the S23. Uh, those are kind of angled in. So when you're sitting back here, your feet are angled right onto the platform, super comfy got the grab handle to get up onto the platform if you're hopping in from the water this also has the ski pylon optioned on it as far as colors go we have um, uh, obviously on the exterior we saw the crimson so we have crimson as our seat boxing and accent piping that runs through the interior we have haze gray as our main we have haze gray true weave as our textured vinyl and then for our decorative stitching panel, as Nautique calls it, we have Mystic White. So we have that over the, uh, where the new badging is, as you can see right there, which on the interior is in bright Chromax. So I'll zoom back out. But a really clean, just classy interior. Looks really good. It's going to be easy to maintain. White interior deck, obviously titanium gray sea deck in here as well. On the tower, that is in solid haze gray. We've got the standard rotating board racks. We have a pair of 880 JL tower speakers. Those have the down facing lighting in them as well. Up top, we've got the rope basket here. You can put all that excess so it's not swinging around and smacking everybody in the face. We have a rotating tow point with the GoPro mount as well as the Nautique awareness camera. We don't have this open today. We want all the sun we can get because it's chilly but it does have the factory bimini with surf pockets on the roof. In the back, before we jump in, this boat has a lot of storage. It does have, as you can see, the supplemental ballast option on it. So that's an additional uh, 500 pounds of ballast. So not a very big bag on either side, only 250 pounds, but it's tucked back as far as it can go, leaving you lots of storage in front, you can also keep your boards on either side of the bag and let it fill. Um, Cause it, once it's full, I wish I had it on. I wish I had it full for the video, but when it's full, it doesn't like push up against the walls like you see in some boats. It's again, it's a pretty small bag. It's not gonna crush anything if you have a board slit in there. Nothing to worry about there. Got a pack of life jackets on that side, as you can see. Let's go ahead and pop open the engine hatch where you can see our ZR4 engine. So this is the six liter, 409 horsepower, or 400 horsepower. Um, ready to rip, man. I mean, it's uh, plenty of power in the S23. If you're big for surfing, I think we had that thing cranking anywhere between 34, 3,700 RPMs. So um, not ripping too hard, really. Boat stays relatively quiet. Um, if you get the direct injection options on these, it's definitely quieter, and, but uh, six liter does a good job. It performs great on this boat. Got our walkthrough that leads down into the seat here, which I'm going to flip up. 
So just like our G series, uh, seating layout's almost exactly like the G23 with the flip up seat on this side, the sliding rear stern seat with the step. And then we also have a flip up seat over here. Big difference is there's no in-floor cooler like the G23. This hall is just not quite enough room underneath the floor based on where they have the fuel tanks and so on and so forth. Where we get similar to the GS is the trash can is under that seat and then the cooler is under that seat. And then again, same thing as the GS's, our batteries are back here. So you got your dual batteries under there. You have communicating storage under there. If you decide to take the cooler out, you can run like a slalom ski or something under there if, if you'd like. Flip up seat there. Also option on this boat is the enhanced courtesy lighting package. So you can see we've got the blue lights on here now. It also gives you a backlit Nautique logo on the badge on the walkthrough, as well as the back seat or the seat back of the driver's seat rather. Can't really see it very well during the day. Uh, honestly, the, the cup holder lights don't even show up that well in the daytime, but that's not what they're for. Phone holders on the sides. Looks really nice in terms of like our color scheme. You can see that black stitching on there. There's these different stitching panels where they do this cool custom stitching as well. Let's flip open the love seat where we've got a massive storage compartment. 10 inch subwoofer on this. This has the upgraded stereo. So you get the sub and the bow speakers and uh, an additional amplifier, a different amplifier, but you got room for your gear in there. Our glove box, if we open this up, has two wireless phone charging pads in here. You can set your phones on. Got a heated love seat and a heated driver's seat. The toggle switch for that is right here. And then charging and head unit for the stereo are in the glove box. Coming over to the helm, this does have the upgraded um, steering wheel, the tandem spoke leather wrap steering wheel with that beautiful stitching, just gives the boat it's a nice premium feel from the helm when you're at the driver's seat. Storage cubby on the left with a phone holder right here or a drain plug, plug holder, whatever you want to use it for. Charging ports there, USBs for your phone. Again, heated driver's seat. This does have the heater option on it as well. So you got the pop out hose there, another one down at the driver's feet. And then up top on the dash itself is a defrost vent, which I've got that thing on right now. It's starting to cool off because I got the motor turned off. Seat slides, rotates, and bolsters up if you need to make adjustments. But from the helm, S23 is a nice place to be. Got your screen nice and recessed down here to the right. Nice tall windshield with awesome visibility out the bow and probably the best visibility of any Nautique, at least our Super Air Nautiques, because we have this nice shear line on the bow that kind of dips down at an angle. So while we're driving, even when the nose comes up, you've got a lot of room here from the bow to the horizon line, and uh, you never lose sight of the horizon. So definitely not for wakeboarding, for surfing. I can sit down, I'm 5'8", I don't need to bolster up to see the horizon, and that's, Nautique does a good job with that on all of their boats, but it's even better on the S23 just based on that sheer line on the traditional bow on this. Link screen over here on the side. You can run all of our presets. You can see the uh, awareness camera on there right now. Home screen, you can toggle on and off all your lighting and heater and all that fun stuff. You can make adjustments to the wave. We've got our stereo we can run through here. We also have the helm command dial, which I like to use got your ballast as you can see the five ballast locations switches we got maps on here let me zoom this in we're zoomed way out there we go there's the lake look at that gives you a depth chart which is really cool um that's pretty much it on the, the helm we've got a ptm mirror on here super easy to fold you just pull the the pin right here Going up into the bow, also have the slide in air dam. And then up front, again, traditional bow setup on the S series. 
but there's tons of room in this thing. Like they brought that shear line forward. So instead of the traditional bow starting from like back here and cutting in, they brought it forward. So you have really wide seating in the front and uh, just comes to a slight, uh, comes in at a slight angle to the very bow of the boat, as you can see. So plenty of room for two people to stretch out. You can get an optional bow filler cushion. This boat doesn't have it. And then your storage under here is impressive. If you look at this boat from the outside, it is very, uh, I'm trying to describe it. It's, it's very square. Like and if you're looking at the rear of the boat, instead of seeing the boat kind of angle in below the rub rail, it goes kind of at a straight angle. So up at the front, you've got deep storage under the seats that are, is actually usable. Like we've got all the fenders under that side, the boat covers under this side. Those are big things. And uh, with the boat having that more square profile on the sides, it makes it more buoyant. So it's harder to dunk the nose, even with that shear line coming down towards the bow. It's really hard to dunk the nose on this thing. Now I'm getting bobbed around. If you're getting sick, I understand. That pretty much covers the interior on the S23. Let's go out and get some running footage and we'll wrap this video up. information on this beautiful super aeronautique s23 give us a call at n3 boatworks 317-845-9253